All right, so this is a suggestion via Patreon. Um, the name of the video is a new discovery on the edge of Antarctica that scares scientists. Intriguing. Let's check it out. Hmm. About 90 million years ago, the frozen land of Antarctica wasn't what it looks like today. Right. The icy landscape was once a lush tropical rainforest brimming with life. Numerous species called Antarctica home millions of years ago, but the flora and fauna disappeared oh, when the land turned into an icy tundra. Today, only several species continue to live in the freezing landscape of the Southern Hemisphere. It's the only continent with no permanent human habitation, and it might remain that way. Many questions surround this cold and barren land, and to this day, we continue to discover new things that change our perspective about what lies in the Southern Hemisphere. From wonky compasses to a monstrous unknown creature, here are 15 fascinating discoveries in Antarctica that could change history. Number 15. No compasses beyond this area. Compasses are tools used for navigation, but there's something strange about our planet that renders these indispensable tools useless. Earth's peculiar magnetism. The South Pole is one of the few places on Earth that has no official time zone and no official routes. There's no way of knowing where you are, even if you have a compass with you. For some strange reason, compasses stop working the closer you get to the North and South Poles. Navigation instruments that contain magnetized pointers lose their sense of direction, and you have no choice but to rely on something else to navigate. Compasses are designed so that the north end of the needle is always attracted to the magnetic north pole. Naturally, the opposite end would be the southern hemisphere. Right, but for some obviously. strange reason, the closer you get to the south pole, the more the magnet on your compass will try to point straight down. That's why if you try to find true north while standing anywhere in Antarctica, you won't have any luck. Your compass will spin in all directions, trying to find its way. Some claim that this is because something is protecting the South Pole. An unseen force is preventing people from exploring the entirety of the Southern Hemisphere. But that seems like a far-fetched theory to many experts. I mean, Earth's magnetism is likely the only culprit. But who knows? There might right. I mean, yeah, based off of logic, it's obviously just a magnetism, but yeah, they're right. It feels like something or someone or something or some group, some entity is definitely attempting to keep people away from those very specific hotspots. It looks like that. I'm just saying it looks like that, but obviously, logically, it's just about magnetism. There might be something in the Southern Hemisphere that is actively preventing us from exploring it properly. Before we go on. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Already passed. Number 14. We got that. UFO crash landing or just a rock? Antarctica is reserved for people with money or scientists who want to gather data and conduct research. Most people will never step foot in Antarctica. Thanks to the internet, however, even ordinary people can have the chance to explore the Antarctic ice sheets without leaving their homes. Sometimes, satellite images reveal the most astounding discoveries. For instance, an internet user exploring a map of Antarctica suddenly spotted this strange feature on a rocky landmass at the South Pole. Of course it's blurry, guys. Of course. In the photo, you can see that the feature doesn't look like an ordinary rock. Instead, it looks like an extraterrestrial aircraft. Some people believe that this is just an ordinary rock. It's ordinary some rock. some believe that it makes sense for <laughs> extraterrestrial spacecraft to crash land near the South Pole. This isn't the only incident where people saw suspicious features in the Southern Hemisphere while looking at satellite images. In this next photo, you can see an elongated object that seems to have crashed into the icy landscape of Antarctica. This photo was captured near Mount Paget, a 9,629-foot-tall mountain. Some people claim that a spacecraft made an emergency landing in the area. It's somehow believable because of the long trail the object left behind. However, experts believe that the alleged spaceship is nothing but a rock that fell from a high area. In this next photo, you can see what looks like a flying saucer hiding among the rocky terrain in Antarctica. This was allegedly taken in the southern hemisphere by an unidentified group of researchers. It's quite fishy for the actual source of the photo to be kept secret, and right. so many believe this is a hoax. Even so, many are convinced that countless spaceships visit the southern hemisphere without our knowledge. Number 13. Okay, that one was intriguing. I'll give you guys 17 that 17 pound that meteorite one. hidden away for thousands of years. Earlier this year. And that's kind of what I would think would, was probably what happened. They're saying that a rock fell from some small place and left that long trail. Uh, it was probably a meteorite. 
A group of scientists who went on an expedition to Antarctica discovered five perfectly preserved meteorites hiding in the southern hemisphere for thousands of years. Among them was the heaviest space rock discovered on the continent, a 17-pound meteorite. Now, you might not believe this, but Antarctica is one of the best places to discover meteorites. I can imagine. It's incredibly easy to spot space rocks in the white landscape, and the frigid environment ensures their preservation. We've already discovered 45,000 meteorites in the Southern Hemisphere. Now that's a lot. To give you an idea, we've discovered around 70,000 meteorites worldwide. That means more than half have been found in Antarctica. And the majority of them, I would say, or maybe not the majority, but a, a very large amount of them are absolutely for sale on eBay for like about $100, guys. Essentially, I have one coming, by the way. A lot of space rocks head toward... Because I was, I was actually looking for like a moon rock, but unfortunately, they're wildly priced and they're, I think, like illegal to even own. So maybe I wasn't looking... For, no, I'm, not, I'm joking. I wasn't looking for a moon rock toward our planet every year. However, less than 5% of these rocks successfully fall onto our planet. After all, most of the rocks burn up as they travel through the Earth's atmosphere. Large meteorites are considered significant finds, but their size doesn't really matter. Each meteorite, regardless of its size, tells us about outer space, and scientists use these cosmic cannonballs to gather information about the heavenly bodies surrounding us. Now, doesn't this make you wonder? If Antarctica is a place filled with meteorites, isn't it highly likely that it's also a place where alien spacecraft land? Number 12. Antarctic Fungi Imagine a place weird, where guys. temperatures reach negative degrees Celsius, an incredibly mm -hmm. close place, yet receives little to no rain, a place where almost no creatures exist. Antarctica. And yet, among the unforgiving and almost inhospitable environment of the South Pole is a feisty fungus. Overall, there are about 100,000 fungus species all around the world. Many of them are found almost everywhere on our planet. But there are also species that choose to live in the most extreme places on our planet. One of the most fantastic fungus species was discovered by explorers in Antarctica. The fungus was discovered in wooden relics left behind by past expeditions to Antarctica. While exploring the remains of a wooden hut set up in the Antarctic by explorers in the early 1900s, a pathologist discovered traces of fungal decay in the materials. The fungus stumped experts who couldn't believe that a microorganism managed to survive in the extreme climate. Although most people... Yeah, I think that you should probably leave that there, all right? Uh, try not to bring that back to, like, civilization, please. We don't need The Last of Us to happen, bro. ...think that the fungi are disgusting, especially molds and mildew. Pathologists view these creatures differently. Fungi live by attacking other materials, including wood. As long as there's something around, they can scavenge. They can create nutrients to sustain themselves. However, the most interesting thing is that before the explorers in the 1900s visited Antarctica, there were no known native fungus species living in the region. This goes to show that human interference affects biodiversity anywhere in the world. Absolutely. Number 11. The unknown third man factor, or just a coincidence? This might sound trippy, but the third man factor is one of the freakiest things ever reported in icy environments, including Antarctica. When Ernest Shackleton set out on an expedition in Antarctic waters, many waited with bated breath. Many worried that the entire team would not return safely. Many people already know about the failed experiment, but a single detail about their journey is often left out. I don't the know about third it. man factor. It was said that when Ernest Shackleton and his team trekked okay. along the icy terrain of the Antarctic after their vessel failed, they could feel the presence of someone else along with them. Shackleton claimed that while they were walking, he could feel that there were actually four of them instead of three. The phenomena is widely reported, especially by polar explorers. It was named yeah. after an experience Peter Hillary, a renowned explorer, had. He claimed a third person followed him and his partner while exploring the icy region. Of course, scientists tried to unravel this strange phenomenon. Could it be that the explorers were simply so exhausted that their senses failed them? Or is it really true that a mysterious entity guides lost travelers exploring the frozen parts of our planet to safety? Scientists conducted experiments where healthy subjects were made to see after images of themselves, creating the illusion that someone else was in the room. However, the sensation they experienced was so creepy that many subjects decided to back out. 
Many travelers and researchers claimed that while they were lost, they saw people walking alongside them. These entities would provide them comfort, guidance, and advice while finding their way to safety. Could it be that we really have guardian angels? Or are there entities in the most isolated and desolate parts of our planet that wait for lost travelers with the sole purpose of guiding them back to safety? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I can tell you right now my thought, guys. Um, I think that's incredibly creepy. Um, it's plausible. Your mind is e extremely complex, right? Um, you could be creating that out of just your overall survival instinct. You know the actual way to go, potentially. And your mind is like creating that thing, right? Um, other than that, no, I don't, I, have, I can't explain that. That's weird. And I, that's one of the topics here that I'm going to probably have to dig into because I'm, I'm intrigued. Number 10. With that. Amazing see-through fish. In 2015, actually, in researchers drilling through Antarctica's Ross Ice Shelf discovered something incredibly unexpected. In case you're asking yourself why scientists were drilling there in the first place, it's simply for science. After drilling, scientists discovered microbes, crustaceans, and some of the strangest creatures on our planet. Using a hot water drill, scientists drilled several miles into the Ross Shelf and underneath the massive chunk of ice. Guys, whatever is down there, I know we need to, you know, research, right? But whatever you're digging up, like think about the length of time it took to to grow that ice, let's call, let's say let's say grow, right? Um, you're going back hundreds and hundreds, even thousands of years, millions of years, if you continue to dig deep and deep and deep. So whatever was going on at that very specific time is frozen in that piece of ice. You get what I'm saying here? So it thaws, now it's released into our current state of being. I think you should be, I think we should all be probably a little bit more like careful with places like Antarctica. Ice. They discovered amazing see-through fish. Researchers also discovered an entire colony of around 60 million fish in the ice-covered Weddell Sea in Antarctica. Among the sea creatures is the Neopagetopsis iona. Trust me, this see-through fish is among the most amazing creatures on Earth. This ice fish was just discovered recently, so we don't know much about them just yet. What we're sure about, however, is that these creatures don't have red blood cells. Since it lives in Antarctica, where the temperature is incredibly low, okay. this fish has evolved to have an antifreeze protein in its blood. This prevents the creature from freezing and ensures ice crystals don't grow inside its body. Its this unique discovery goes to show that there are a lot more things to discover in the North and South Poles. Who knows yeah. what other strange creatures lurk in the frigid oceans of our planet? Number 9. Guys, the Earth is such like an interesting thing. I get it, we're apex. Right. But there's a lot of things that are on this planet that are so much better. Like, I don't know, maybe not better at building and, and like, you know, hunting and things like that. Intelligence. But like some of these things are intriguing. Like evolution is, a, is a, such an odd and interesting thing. Mysterious singing ice. You're probably wondering what singing ice is. Wind. The last time I checked, ice can't really sing. Right. Well, there is a massive chunk of ice in Antarctica that has been singing for years. In 2017, scientists claimed that an ice shelf at the South Pole constantly sings at a frequency that isn't audible to human ears. This eerie but compelling tune is almost always at a frequency of 5 hertz, 5 cycles per second. Initially, scientists were quite confused about where this eerie sound originated. That is, until they discovered that the culprit was the topmost layer of the Ross Shelf. It took years of research and more than 30 seismic sensors to learn the truth about the doleful hum resonating throughout the Antarctic. Although it is rather creepy, there isn't much mystery behind the humming. Scientists explain that the singing was created by the wind blowing across the top of the ice shelf. However, the song- I honestly hope you didn't waste any money studying that one there, all right? Um, all right. <laughs> of the ice shelf also tells us a lot of things. The sound isn't a mere creepy tone. Rather, it's a song that scientists can use to gather data about the ice shelf. By listening and observing its tune, experts can monitor various aspects of the Ross ice shelf. Number 8. Centuries Old Fruitcake This is a bit off topic, but is there really anyone who wants to eat fruitcake? 
I can't really remember a time when I craved this pastry. Although it has the word cake in its name, it's not really the most appetizing. It is a popular gift to give out during the holidays because of its long shelf life, but no one looks forward to receiving them, right? I've never had it. Not like that. I've had a cake that was kind of like angel food cake uh, in Spain, and it had fresh fruit on top of it, uh, like a white, like a white cream with like kiwis and I don't know other fruit that were similar to that. I would say, but not like berries or no, no were berries, like blueberries, blackberries. They had like a lot of fresh fruit on top of it, but not anything that looks like this. That, that pretty much that looks grotesque, guys. I'm sorry. But how would you like to taste a century-old, finely aged fruit cake that has been preserved by nature itself? In 2017, experts discovered the oldest fruit cake on the entire planet. Okay. It was found in the coldest and driest place on Earth. What better place to hide and preserve a fruitcake, an already popular indestructible food, than the largest natural refrigerator in the world, the Antarctic? <laughs> Hidden in the oldest building at the South Pole is a fruitcake left behind by the British explorer Robert Falcon Scott during the Antarctic expedition Bro, between 1910 and 1913. The fruitcake was still wrapped in paper and encased in a tin. Scientists described the fruitcake as still in an almost edible state. The cake was from the baker's Huntley and Palmer's. Scientists claimed that they could smell a rather disgusting buttery scent emanating from the cake. But other than that, it smells and looks edible. Would you dare try this fruit cake? There is a, a channel on YouTube, I cannot remember the name of it, and all he does exclusively, he will look for like cooler ranch Doritos from like the early 90s or like late 80s. He'll look for unopened packages of these things and then eat them. He'll look for like Crystal Pepsi from like the early 90s and consume it. For us to all see, you know, there's a lot of, you know, occasionally there's some like upchucking that happens on screen if you wanna see that, right? But he exclusively looks for really old things to eat. Uh, the things that he does for, for science <laughs> is crazy, right? But I'm almost positive he would eat that. I don't know about you, but it's a hard pass for me. Yeah, he'd eat Number that. seven, Absolutely. the doomed endurance shipwreck. Sir Ernest Shackleton is a household name for those interested in Antarctic explorations. He was an Anglo-Irish Antarctic explorer who led three expeditions to the Antarctic region. He bravely faced the harshness of the frozen continent in exchange for exploring uncharted territory. One of the vessels he sailed was the Endurance. This vessel tragically sank during one of the failed attempts to cross Antarctica. Wow. The Endurance expedition began in 1914. I'm guessing it was before they started building like the icebreaker ships. And by 1915, it was already trapped in ice. The people who joined the expedition lived on the vessel for months until they were forced to abandon the ship to trek on the ice. On November 21st, 1915, the Endurance sank into the icy waters of the Antarctic. Wow. It wasn't until recently that we developed new technology that could recover the sunken vessel of endurance from the icy depths of Antarctica. Number six, Antarctic pyramids. At the beginning of 2016, a strange discovery circulated the internet. Okay. Several people claimed that while looking around Antarctica on Google Earth, they discovered images of what looked like ice pyramids. A pyramid is a structure with a triangular surface. Many ancient cultures all around the world have built pyramids that exist to this day, from the Great Pyramids in Egypt to the temples in Cambodia. And so, if there is a pyramid in Antarctica, there might be a lot more to discover on the continent. After oh, yeah. all, the existence of such a refined and sophisticated structure could only mean that an ancient civilization once occupied the frozen location, long before the first explorers stepped foot on Antarctica, and long before Antarctica was quote-unquote discovered. There are a lot of theories about the pyramids in Antarctica. Some of the theories are somewhat controversial. Some claim that in the past, an Atlantean civilization existed in Antarctica. They might have lived on the continent thousands of years ago. Yeah. Still, they could create and Like the battle for our planet was fought over Antarctica. Absolutely. Right? I'm joking, guys. This is uh, referencing um, Stargate SG-1, Stargate Atlantis. That's the reference. Build pyramids because they had skills that were literally out of this world. They were extraterrestrial creatures who visited our planet and decided to make a temporary home on Earth. Two of the, the pyramids ancients. in Antarctica are located about 10 miles from the coast, while the third is located near the shoreline. 
Number 5. The Antarctic King Today, there aren't a lot of creatures living in Antarctica. You have penguins, seals, and tiny creatures, but that's about it. However, millions of years ago, the biome in Antarctica was incredibly different. A long time ago, a creature known as the Antarctic King roamed its lands. More than 250 million years ago, Antarctica had a landscape that could support a lot of life. Its temperature wasn't as unforgiving as it is now. In fact, it was rare for the temperature to reach negative degrees. One of the creatures that called Antarctica home was an iguana-sized reptile that was an early relative of the dinosaurs. It's known as the Antarctanx Shackletoni. Its first name roughly translates to Antarctic King. Meanwhile, it's sec- I mean, okay, so then we should be finding fossils here. Have we found any fossils in Antarctica? Second name is a tribute to none other than Ernest Shackleton, and what have we found? one of the earliest people who dared to explore Antarctica. Researchers discovered an incomplete fossil of the creature, and although it wasn't complete, it was enough to give experts a rough idea of what it looked like. It resembled a tiny lizard, but in the past, it was one of the feistiest creatures on the land. Number 4. Dead Bodies It's a tragic fact that a lot of people succumbed to the frozen environment of Antarctica while exploring it. One of the most horrific stories was of Captain Scott. Captain Robert Falcon Scott was a British Royal Navy officer who led a team of explorers to the Antarctic region. He bravely spearheaded two expeditions in Antarctica, but in yeah, his last one, he perished preserved. on the frozen landscape. It wasn't until October 29, 1912 that the body of Captain Scott was discovered by Trygve Gran, a young Norwegian explorer. Gran described in his journal how exactly he found the body of Captain Scott. In his diary, he claimed that the body of Captain Scott turned a transparent yellow color due to the freezing temperature. Beside the man were two others who looked as if they were just asleep. Captain Scott, however, looked like he suffered immensely in his last moments. As a reward for exploring Antarctica and finding Captain Scott's body, Gran won the Polar Medal. Recently, his sledding journals, which included some of the most horrifying tales about the Antarctic exploration, sold for a staggering 150,000 euros. Number 3. The Oldest Sperm in the World Sperm cells are quite hard to preserve. That's why scientists were incredibly impressed when they discovered a fossilized sperm cell in Antarctica. What's more astounding is the fact that it can be traced back to 50 million years ago. Now, you're probably thinking that the sperm cell belonged to a human, which no. doesn't add up considering its no. age. The no. sperm cell belonged to a class of earthworms and leeches called Clitellida. This species lived in the early Eocene period around the time when the first horses, sheep, and rhinos graced the Earth. The sperm cell could only survive until recently because a jelly-like cocoon enclosed the entire cell. Through this and the freezing temperature in Antarctica, the fossilized cell survived for millions of years. Spermatozoa are exceptionally delicate, and they aren't observed in nature for very long. In fact, they're among the hardest to preserve. Number 2. What? <laughs> Uh, okay, so where is it? Um, so what it sounds like they're saying that it was still alive, or or it, well, obviously it's no longer alive now. But I guess when they were to able, when they were able to uh, to view it, it was alive somehow. Um, let's try not to bring any of these creatures back, guys. I know uh, it'll be a really good amusement park potentially, but um, I think we've learned our lesson from from like uh, Jurassic Park, guys. We don't want to do that. Largest recorded Ever. iceberg. Icebergs are large floating chunks or masses of ice detached from a glacier or an ice sheet. Although these chunks of ice have been separated from the glacier, experts continue to track their journey. The largest iceberg ever recorded by area measured around 295 by 37 kilometers. That's a whopping 159 by 20 nautical miles. It's a massive iceberg about the size of the island of Jamaica. It broke off from the massive Ross Ice Shelf in March 2000, and since then, it was called Iceberg B-15. In 2018, however, the iceberg was seen broken into tiny fragments, and today, most of the Iceberg B-15 is melted away. Melting and breaking into tiny fragments are everyday occurrences for an iceberg. Right. After all, an iceberg's journey will end sooner or later. However, because of our ever-changing planet, the rate at which icebergs disappear is rapidly increasing. It's a regular occurrence, but soon enough there will come a time when the southern hemisphere will become warmer and warmer. As our planet continues to change, 
Just like Antarctica turned into a frozen tundra from a rainforest biome, the glaciers might soon melt. As dramatic changes occur yeah, in melting. the polar regions, the entire world will also be affected. Scientists believe that as the glaciers and bergs in the icy regions of our planet continue to melt, the ocean level will rise all over the world. Well, yeah, it's already, it's already like uh, affecting like a lot of the smaller like island countries, right? Uh, they are absolutely seeing higher tides on a consistent, consistent basis. We'll never know. The melting ice might reveal the secrets hidden in the southern hemisphere, but will we be able to endure the changes in our planet? And now it's time for today's topic. There is a new discovery on the edge of Antarctica that scares scientists. Antarctica is among the most inhospitable places on Earth. It's also the most mysterious. Men who would like to learn more about the frozen land need to venture into this frigid and icy plain to gather data. Most people think that there's nothing to discover in Antarctica. But time and time again, scientists held their interest in the southern hemisphere, believing there's more to it than ice. Several people believe that long before the first modern humans ventured into Antarctica, a long-lost civilization made it their home and established a flourishing society amidst its unforgiving environment. Some believe that remnants of this civilization are still out there beneath the Antarctic ice. In fact, some people believe scientists have already uncovered evidence of this long-lost civilization, but are keeping it a secret. What do you think about this theory? As always, yeah, I think that if they're keeping it a secret, that makes them terrible, all right? Because obviously we all need to know what's going on with our planet. And if there was an ancient society of people, I guess would they want the world to know? Really? Probably not. I guess they're right. Because um, <laughs> uh, I don't think we can handle too much more, guys. I mean, the, well, at least with the direction that we are going, humanity is going, it's a little... Crazy. Comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen with that. All right. So overall, um, Antarctica seems extremely, extremely interesting. Like that third man factor also here it's online is called the third man syndrome. That is extremely intriguing to me and probably one of the most intriguing. Well, second to the, to the fish that doesn't have any red blood cells, but has some type of most likely protein in her blood that's uh, acting as antifreeze that's keeping them. Guys, that's crazy. Like, I mean, that's, that's, that's mind blowing how, how no matter what, like life is not fragile guys uh it may seem fragile because you know we're we're here and and our lives very specifically are fragile but life as a whole in a grander scheme of things is absolutely not fragile it'll always find a way to succeed right it'll always find a way um and i find that absolutely just mind-blowing and to know that these things can exist on our planet it tells me that there are definitely things on other planets, right? Absolutely, there are things on other planets. Maybe they're not identical to us, right? By every single definition, but there are definitely things um, on other planets, guys, all right? Personally, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Def definitely let me know in the, com let me know in the comments um, another topic you guys want to check out with me, all right? Yeah, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day and enjoy your day thoroughly.